is the switch lock and the guy who sent me this or designed it said it's going to be better than the quad lock and I think the standout feature is that it comes apart really really easily so <laughs> I'm going to do a bunch of working out to see if this thing falls off really really easily it does when you do that you don't have that same problem with the quad lock but we'll find out if you can do the same thing with it. Your arms look like a half dip chocolate ice cream cone. Seriously? You look like a partially peeled Dale banana. <laughs> Before I start doing everything, I want you guys to vote. How many times do you think this is gonna fall off? One to two, three to four. I'm gonna do about 10 different exercises, so uh, vote in the poll. falling off yet despite it does that really easily this trying to check my phone real quick not terrible but this is a pain in the butt and this is that now we're gonna do something a little funner let's say outside What do you guys think about this nice parking job this person did? It's pretty spectacular. Really good use of space. Hands are too pretty. I need gloves.
So, after all that, did you guys guess correctly if it failed or not? I counted one, and that was on the ring muscle-ups, but that was kind of to be expected given that anything that's on your arms is going to jam right into the uh, straps on the rings. So, anybody who's doing ring, any sort of ring stuff on a uh, consistent basis, isn't really gonna use one of these products. Uh, the quad lock in that instance for the ring muscle ups did stay on, but it did kind of pull off and it pulled my shoulder back. I don't know if you can see it in the video. So it wasn't much of a win over the fact that this thing came flying off from over 10 feet. iPhone's still fine. The last difference between these two armbands I will point out or was pointed out to me is that the uh, switch lock has a bunch of rubber bumps on the uh, bottom of the thing. Now this is gonna help it stay in place um, if you don't have arms that are shaped like mine. I didn't notice it because of my differently shaped arms. I know it's a humble brag, but <laughs> it is what it is. Now between all the iPhone armbands that I've used over the last few years, between the, uh, you know, the standard run of the mill, MPOW, whatever armband that's like $3, the quad lock, the uh, Moshi Endura, the Otterbox Universe, as well as the now defunct Voodoo case, the switch lock is probably the easiest one to use from an armband perspective anyways. The attachment mechanism is actually very, very slick and surprisingly stable. I was very, very surprised at how well this actually worked. And the only times it came off was, you know, you watched me fling it on my, with my arm. It really only comes off when you want it to. Whereas in the quad lock, never, ever, ever, ever comes off unless, even if you want it to, sometimes it doesn't come off because it's a pain in the butt to use. Uh, so if switch lock can somehow figure out how to add chi charging to this, this is probably going to be the uh, go-to uh, car mount chi charging accessory because that simplicity coupled with chi charging, you just it's just hard to beat that, from my perspective anyways. And I really don't think it's gonna be that hard given that your standard chi size, or your chi charging pads, it's probably smaller than this actual connection point. So I'm pro we're probably gonna see that pretty soon, I think. Now when it comes to iPhone accessories, the first things I look at is, does it make my iPhone better? The uh, average iPhone case does not. It actually makes it worse. You know, button access is gonna be terrible. Your camera isn't gonna be as sharp with the, uh, unbeveled edges and whatnot. The above average cases are the ones that don't take away from the iPhone. So it's like it literally just protects it, doesn't take away from it. The iPhone accessories that I like the most are the ones that add to it, right? So your most limitless with the extreme drop protection and all the accessories that you can add, the loopy case with all the uh, extra drop protection because it'll never fall out of your hand unless your finger comes off with it. Um, and the switch lock is kind of in that same general vicinity in terms of iPhone accessory. Just just so smart. The guy who designed it is a aeronautical engineer, I think, right? It shows. I'm an engineer too, ex-engineer. Um, and I don't think I could have made something like this, so the guy must be way smarter than I am. So if you're interested in this product, I will see about getting you guys a uh, purchase code for it. I'll leave it in the pinned first comment at the be below this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down there, uh, right below the pinned comment, or you actually leave it in the pinned comment. I don't know. Do your thing. I'll probably respond to the first, you know, 100 or so uh, comments after the first two days of releasing this video. And uh, that's kind of all I got. First time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. That's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching. Oh, that would have been way cooler if I could have made it. Let's try it again.